My name is Nigel Hook, and I'm the co-founder of Silverhook Powerboats, and we build the fastest boats on the planet. When you're building the, the fastest, safest boat on the planet, you've got to use technology. So the technology was used both in building the boat, it's a 48 foot long power boat, but we also use a technology, what's an IoT in particular, to, to pull all the sensor data off the boat so when we're running it, we can make sure we're pushing the power, pushing the limits of the boat as far as possible without getting into trouble. Well, it has a big impact because it's a balance. When you're pushing the limits of a boat, you, you, you can go faster, but if you're going faster over big seas, you're going to have more problems. And so it's really being able to look at all the different sensor data, which Watson IoT picks up from the accelerometer, so you can capture the impacts of a boat, the GPS data, so you can see how fast it's going. When you look at all this data, you can see by pushing a boat, is that going to be pushing it too far? And, uh, or are you not pushing it far enough? And so being able to analyze that data, both post-race, but more importantly, in the, in the moment, in real time, to see what you can do to push the limits of a boat using the best of a technology. Real time is important because if you're traveling 150 miles an hour, you're gonna cross a football field in less than two seconds. So things happen very, very quickly. And you can have the best insights in the world, but for a second too late, they're useless. So it's very, very important in our sports, in motorsports in particular, that you have the high speed reaction and the high speed information to make those decisions as quickly as possible before the event happens. Well, you know, in our product, the 48 foot silver hook, we really found inspiration from the past, right? When you look, it really has some, some, um, some flavors of the old E-type Jag. You know, it's got a radius, the boat is very radius, it's got curves. They're actually curves that are designed to optimize the airflow across the boat. It's been in a Formula One wind tunnel. But when you look at the inspiration, it's, it's both from prior works of art, like the E-type Jag, but also from nature. You see very few boats out there which are competitors to ours, which have these rounded side, sides. And in nature, you never see hard sides. Everything is rounded, never a straight surface. And so that's what we kind of mimicked when we were building the 48-foot silver hook. The most important thing is to collect as much data as possible. Because if you, have, if you have the data and you have the context in which the data came from, then the, it's really the, the opportunities are only, only limited by your imagination. When you have all the data, you can use that to create images to tell a story, to see actually what's happening. For example, on a drill bit at an oil rig, where a drill bit may be two miles down on the earth, right? You can't get cameras down there. How do you know what's happening? But you can by taking the data, the temperature data, the pressure data, the vibration data. Of that drill bit two miles down can be virtualized and actually show the engineers what's happening so they can predict maintenance and prevent failure. Well, you know, it's the same whether you're on a racetrack and things are happening at 150 miles an hour, or you're in a boardroom. You have to make decisions as intelligently, intelligently as possible, with as much data as possible, uh, and as quickly as possible, because as, as I said before, the best decision, which may be a second too late, is no good, right? So, so it's bringing the data together and using IBM Watson IoT and Watson Analytics to be able to interpret that data because you can be overwhelmed by, by you know, a mass of ocean of data, but having the analytics to help you will pinpoint you on decision points that you need to make. My job has changed because uh, you know, we just set the world record from the US to Cuba. And that would not have been possible uh, had it not been for technology, which helped us develop the boat, and the technology which helped us run as sustained speeds very safely across that treacherous 100 miles of ocean between Key West and Havana. That wouldn't have been possible in the past. You could almost say the side benefits of having all this data streaming up into the cloud is now you can use this data to share with the public, share with fans, spectators. And we use that in the Silverhook race team to share the data, the virtualized cockpit, so people can see the gauges, how fast we're going, see the RPMs, see where we are on the track. And that's just gonna get bigger and bigger, right? With, with virtual reality, you can really start to engage the, the fans with the experience in the boat. And when you layer on top of that, the cognitive solutions, the artificial intelligence, you can just make that experience as, as almost as good as been there.